All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, yesterday, I got half of this bar painted. Got all of it primed. Let's see the patches I weld on. This was actually the the better of the two patches. I missed a little bit right there where it kind of stepped down. So, anyway, today, I finished painting it. And I got some more parts in, and I'm hoping this is all the parts. I know I'm gonna have to order. Show you what I got. Now another, another can of paint. I got me some black paint. Couldn't get, I couldn't find that top hat, but this is professional rust oleum, gloss black. I'm gonna paint the canvas frame with that. Got some more bearings, and I got to thinking the other day. I might want to go ahead and rebuild that little part of the shaft that the PTO connects to that's got another big pulley on the end of it that the belts run off of. These are permanently lubricated. There's no oil in that housing. So uh, the ones that's in there are original. And these chokers was almost $50 a piece. That's nuts. That ain't what I ordered. Sure. I didn't order no daggum nuts. That's why this order looks messed up. Anyway, I got the other four of them boats. They're supposed to be in, in little boats. And I got that boat. That's why this order was messed up. And I got that boat. And I got me some new bolts and nuts for my blades because my nuts was about wore out. I had to buy this little bracket here. I'll show you the old bracket. Whoa, you can see through that joker. Pretty thin. There's the new one. Yep, that one was about shot. And I ordered that big long piece and then that little short one. So, I'm gonna get these painted. And I uh, also ordered this, which is that piece. And as you can tell, this new piece ain't got near the curves that are in it. That's all this has been up right here. And I've got to take off this bracket. And I've got to make a bracket, I think. Let's see. This bracket's any good. No, this bracket's broke. So I got to make a bracket for that. And hopefully I can find the right type of metal I can bend without having to have, to have a metal break. But uh anyway, that's where we're at. And uh I ain't even got around to getting these blade holders yet. It's going to be pushing it to get it done by Sunday. Today is Thursday. And the time I get this painted and those painted, it's going to be dinner time and tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tomorrow and try to get that that plate that goes under the gearbox there, that skid, I'm gonna try to get it mounted tomorrow. So I'll probably end up putting this video with that video. So I guess until tomorrow. Ah right, well I ain't gonna wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all how I paint. First I take some wax and grease remover. You could use this plain old uh Paint thinner works fine. I just have like the aerosol. But if you go buy a gallon of wax and grease remover, you get paint thinner. So paint thinner works fine. And now I'm just gonna spray on here, wipe it down good. And that's gonna help get all the oil and finger rip, you know, the oil from your fingers and everything off this stuff. Over here I've sprayed one light coat. I'll spray a light coat over everything and let it kind of tack up. I got my fan running right now just to help dry it a little bit. 
and then I'll come back and I'll spray a second coat. In lieu of sandpaper, I've just been using my wire wheel on my grinder. I went and bought me a grinder the other day, a little Hitachi. Uh, I've got a nice grinder out the other shop. It's a Craftsman. It's, it's about an amp higher than this, and boy, you can feel it in it too. This one, this one just ain't got near the torque that other one's got. But all right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is got two separate towels, one for each. I'm gonna spray it down good. The little more more paint I'm gonna spray. Stuff evaporates pretty quick, too. By the time you get it rubbed down good, it's going to be pretty much evaporated. Here, get the I'm wearing gloves so that I don't get finger oils. You can see this that and it won't come off of it. So even though you can blow it off, whatever, you still gonna have some kind of residue on there and you're gonna get that residue off and you're gonna have fish out of bad. Now cleaned up. Now second step is if they wasn't already primed or painted I'd shoot some rusty metal primer. Best stuff in the world. Good coverage. Thick. The only thing I ever use. I'm about out of my regular paint. Well ventilated area is key. I don't I don't want to have to wear a respirator because I don't want to have to share, uh, shave off my goatee, put a respirator on. So I'm gonna make sure wherever I'm painting that I'm upstream of the fumes. If the fumes are blowing back on me, I need to move. Yeah, most of these doors open, fans blowing, got a good breeze coming through the door, so I should be alright. Give either a good light coat. That's just going to be a pack coat. I don't want to put a heavy coat on. And then I'm going to have runs if I do. I bought another 10 paints because I got one left. I did walk in the Alright, so I got a good tack coat on. We'll let that dry about 10 minutes and put the final coat on. You well, guys I had to get my other can. I don't know. This can this, this paint's pretty old to me. You can tell by the rustiness. But I don't know what this stuff costs. Come from France. Supposed to be the official color. I started painting a little bit on the end down here. And uh other can just got to work with and putting out a whole lot. So I got here back and I got some light and dark spots in here. I'm gonna have to put enough coat on. Sometimes you have to put more than two, especially with the cloud can. 
more the better, really. Take something, scratch it up if you want to, help it stick. I ain't got nothing with me to scratch it with, so I'm just going to paint over it. Paint's kind of making a mess in my paint. I didn't really go back over this with that cleaner, probably should have. Good paint won't do this. So, anyway, that's how I'm doing it. Doing it. And uh, sometimes, you, you know, I don't show everything. So, if I'm not showing you something you want to see, leave a comment. And next time I do it, I'll be sure to put it in the video. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh, tomorrow, actually it's supposed to rain, storm, so I don't know if I'm going to be out here working or not, but we'll definitely do a video Saturday of getting this thing back together, and so until then, thanks for watching.